we actually started Animal Energy when we were living in these apartments. But it wasn't the best <laughs> place to live. But while we were there, we learned a whole lot. God taught us a lot. So let's let people see that it's all right where you are as long as you have a vision for where you're going. You know, with the crime and gang activity and the drugs that were going through that apartment, uh, you know, we knew we deserved more and we surely wanted better. And that became our fuel and our reason why. We knew that Ambit Energy would be the vehicle that would take us out of the land of not enough, skip over the land of just enough and land us right in a land called more than enough. And so now we make enough money that now we can live in the house of our dreams. And it's absolutely phenomenal. You know, getting to Xavier Consultant in 180 days was more out of need than it was our design. You know, we just really had a reason that we had to get some things done quickly in our lives. And I remember asking my wife for 90 days. Give me 90 days to go out and really work this business eight to fame. And we did that and you know, we just trusted God to give us the people to talk to and some great things happened. And 180 days later, uh, executive consultant. Time freedom. Wow. I think that's what it's all about right there. Yeah, we really love that. I mean, sometimes we go down to the beach in the middle of the day. We can go eat lunch with our grandbabies and sneak out and go to a movie. But our all-time favorite is waking, waking up, up when we're through yeah, sleeping. sleeping. Yeah. Now, we have a way that we test that. Here's what we do. We throw our arms up, and if it falls down, we're not I through think. sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what Terry and I live by is this simple statement. We're going to live like nobody else today so we can live like nobody else tomorrow. Now, being able to live the lifestyle of our dreams, do what we want to do, go where we want to go, is absolutely incredible. I would like to introduce to you none other than my friend and probably everybody's friend. Amen. 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 Pastor Bishop Dr. Kenneth Smith. Amen. Let's show him some love. I felt a strong pull to things of God at an early age. I remember at age 14, uh, coming to know Christ and, and uh, learning to play the keyboards at that age and began to start singing in the choir and, and developing as a psalmist and uh, then being a praise and worship leader. Uh, going from that to assistant pastor of the church and now senior pastor of a church, it's all I know. You know, because the way I was raised, I don't know about y'all, but whenever my mom called my whole name, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, she didn't call me Ricky or Sweetheart or Pooh Bear or something. She said, Oh, Kenneth Renard Smith. <laughs> I ain't have no doubt about what kind of party this was going to be. I look at Abbott and church as one ministry. Uh, the joy to be able to do this with uh, singing and, and preaching with my wife. She's a great preacher herself. Don't let her fool you. She preaches well. And uh, my kids, uh, my son Joshua, uh, he's a senior consultant in our business. But at the same time, he, he ministers the word and he plays the percussions and the drums in our church. And our family is all involved in the ministry. And it's really just rewarding to be able to preach prosperity and then see it followed up by signs and wonders. Um, we're kicking the door down and we're taking our family with us. You know, I've often asked this question, being a pastor, how do you keep it balanced? How are you able to focus on God's work and still earn this kind of income? And you know, what I tell people is that, you know, it's. It's all ministry. Helping people to live better qualities of life is ministry. That's what Jesus did. So my wife and I, we take pleasure in preaching the gospel, singing on Sundays. No matter where we travel to, we're always back home at our church to make sure that we give God the time that he's, uh, he's calling us.
the cause of having energy that the members of my congregation can experience the same success. We have people in our congregation who are senior consultants, uh, halfway to almost to executive consultants uh, in, in our organization, uh, in our church. And it's really become a realization that uh, there is a place called there. Being a top 30 income earner in Avid Energy is really a testament to hard work. I believe it's getting a dream, developing a game plan, and then going after it every single day. And that's exactly what we did. We get up in the morning, pull up our bootstraps, and then we would go to work. And we just trusted the Lord that he would bring us into the company of people that we needed to meet that was crucial to our success. But trust me, we didn't get there alone. We got there with a team. And the only reason why we are where we are is because we've been standing on the shoulders of other giants in this company. Getting to uh, ride those shoulders. I remember Kevin Walls was the first, or was the senior that took us to executive consultant. Uh, we looking at Chuck Chance, uh, Carl Scott, uh, senior consultants all over the country that are going at rapid pace to get there now. Uh, that, uh, Chris Muhammad, Dad Muhammad, uh, Hillman Muhammad, Joshua Smith, uh, Anella, Fred Banks, Frida Cox, and the list goes on and on and on. Uh, and we're so grateful to be a part of their team. At the end of the day, I like for it to be said that we brought hope to somebody. If somebody who wasn't dreaming can start dreaming again, someone who said I can't do it, you have to believe I can, then it's worth it all. You know, that's a sleeping giant on the inside of each and every one of us. And by seeing us be successful, our hope is that someone else says, I can too. You gotta have a dream.